All right, I've got a leaking Briggs toilet. Where's it leaking? Well, there's a little bit of seepage right out from right out from these bolts. So this is what I did. Actually, I think I went to BriggsPlumbing.com and I bought a kit, Briggs Plumbing Kit, which is right there. Uh, the bottom seal, uh, these are the seals here, the kind of the critical seals that have swollen and leaked. I'll show you those. And down below you can see, I'll push one out. This is the uh, old bolt and the washer. You can see it's pretty tortured. Uh, so in a little better shape than this side here. And this is the side where it, this is the side here where it was leaking. So this is very spongy and soft. And the new one is, you know, pretty hard and firm. So uh, this seal's obviously going away. Valve has been in here quite a while. I'm going to replace it. The flapper is completely tortured, so it's going to get renewed. New valve, new flapper, and potentially a new hose. Right now this thing's going to go outside and get cleaned out. Because I think I can do a better job outside than I can in here. I'm using a little CLR to uh, kind of clean out the inside of the toilet. We'll see how that goes. Alright, so that's got the outside cleaned up. The mating surfaces are all nice and clean. It's nice and clean too inside. I mean there are still some rust spots, but I'm not worried about that. Alright, and we got this section here which obviously you can't clean. <laughs> When the tank is on, so I gave it a good cleaning here and disinfectant. Always take your pictures with some kind of scale when you need to size something up, make sure it fits. I don't know how many of these there are, but I'll bet there's more than one. I found the new brass washers. They were inside this thing here. So I've got two screws, two rubber washers, two metal washers, Two brass nuts and I think that's all I need to put the uh, tank back on the base of the toilet okay so we got a toilet tank repair kit uh, it fits from 10 to 14 inches the one I have according to the photo is about 13 inches so this should fit it's got a flapper valve in it that was swollen and worn out it's got a new float valve and the new um, shutoff valve everything all nice so we'll build that and then install it over here in the tank we cleaned out so there we have a nice secure fit the toilet ring around things there now we'll go take it in and put it on the uh, base of the toilet all right there we go uh doesn't look like it's sitting down very far, but I think it's supposed to kind of float above that. This gasket is, you know, brand new. So I'm going to draw the bolts down and see how it does. All right, hopefully you can see down there that the uh, screw, machine screw or brass screw, has kind of cupped the washer and that should be the way it is it shouldn't be just flush because it might leak with a cup like that it's going to definitely poke down into the porcelain and make a good tight seal around it and both of them are nicely cupped and the back is firm on on the toilet and the seal in the center, of course, is um, pushed down as, as the bolts tighten up. 
that seal in the middle uh, does its job too. It, it draws down into the, the center hole where the flapper is. The drain, I guess you'd call that. I guess I got to put it in to fill over the flapper to make sure that uh, that it's sealing properly too. So far so good. Uh, nothing seems to be leaking. <laughs> so no matter what I do with this kit, I uh, I can't get the valve to shut off. I mean, it's not moving much water, but it's moving a little bit of water. You can see it moving in the bowl. And you can hear it back here. It's very, very slight. And it could be this flapper. I just don't care for this flapper at all. I'm going to go get another flapper and see if that solves the problem. Okay, not a fan of this uh, Ace toilet tank repair kit. Why? Mainly this flapper valve. Its legs aren't the same length as the corky. And it doesn't make a good uh, seal. Plus, this um, rubberized thing is kind of wonky. The chain on the corky seems to work a lot better. So, for $17.99 and a valve doesn't work, um, the flapper valve, at least on my Briggs, it may work on other models, but it doesn't work good on the Briggs model that I have. So, I have to say, uh, not, not, not favorable for me. I don't care for this kit. But I will say, now that I have the corky valve in there with the chain, uh, the new fill valve, I think, is probably a good idea. But I could have bought one of those without having to spend the money on this part. I could have bought a new one of these separately. Probably a couple more bucks. Um, so I'm not begrudging it that much, but watch out for that flapper valve because that's going to up your water usage if this thing, you know, doesn't seal. Not going to be a good thing. You'll be using a lot more water. All right, there we go. Nice, fresh bead of new caulk and everything's looking good no leaks uh, no runs no hits no errors so there it is a uh, briggs toilet uh i guess you'd say tank rebuild <laughs>